Greetings, everyone, and welcome to a special movie review slash Fortnite video. So right now, I'm chewing just regular mint gum, and it's pretty good. But in a few minutes, I'm going to be going to the movie theater to watch John Wick 3. So I'm really excited about doing that. Uh, I loved the first John Wick movie. I thought it was awesome when that came out. Um, I'm a big Keanu Reeves fan. I've, I've seen most of Keanu's movies, so I'm not just a fan of him as an actor, but I also like the John Wick movies, so loved the first one. And I enjoyed the second one. I, I feel like the first one was really good on its own, and the second one was still good, but not as great as the first one, but they're both really, really good movie, so I'm excited for the third movie. Um, I don't know anything about it. I, I barely even watched any trailers just because, you know, it's an action movie. I already know it's going to be good, and I don't want to be spoiled on anything. So all I know is it, it takes place right after the second movie. Ken Reeves is the main character, and apparently Holly Berry is going to be a character in it as well. And that's all I know. Oh. So, I'm excited. I know Lawrence Fishburne is returning yet again. So we have Neo and Morpheus, uh, two characters from The Matrix. But actors in this movie playing uh, their own roles. So that's awesome. Um, honestly, I expect it to be really, really cool. Lots of action and possibly better than the second movie but I don't know if it'll be as good as the first, so as long as it's better than the second one and close to being, you know, awesome as the first, I think I'm going to come out of the movie theater happy. So from what I heard, the movie's about two hours and like a, a little bit over like two hours. So once I get out, I'll do a review and I'll put some gameplay in the background of uh, John Wick in Fortnite. Now, I know right now there is like a leak that there's going to be a limited time John Wick mode in Fortnite, a special skin, back bling, glider, harvesting tool, stuff like that. So it's not out as of right now, it's not out on the store. So I'll just have to use the original, you know, season three Reaper skin that everyone called John Wick. So I'll be sure to put some Fortnite gameplay in the background here. So. Hopefully you guys can enjoy that. Um, but, yeah, can't wait to do a movie review. And I'll let you all know how the movie is as soon as I get get out of the movie theater. So, maybe I'll save some popcorn. I'm not sure. Well, I usually get a little bit of popcorn and finish it during the movie. Just because I don't really like to get the huge containers of popcorn. Because I normally don't end up eating it and just... I don't know, it feels like a waste, so I, I prefer getting like the smaller ones and eating what I have. So if I do have some over leftover after two hours of the movie, I will chew some popcorn or eat some popcorn while I'm doing the review, but if not, I'll just chew some bubble gum. Um, I, have, I have some watermelon and cotton candy gum, so I think I'll be chewing that. But yeah, I'm excited and I can't wait to go see this John Wick 3 movie. So, let me know in the comments if you are going to go see it, or if you have seen it already. Um, I'm curious to see what everyone thinks. Um, and be sure to post uh, spoiler tags if you are going to spoil something about the movie. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to go watch the movie. Um, I'll be back in a few seconds, even though for me it's going to be a few hours probably. <laughs> but for you guys, you won't have to wait at all, so... So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Greetings everyone, and I am back. I just got out of the movie theater. And I'm chewing two pieces of strawberry bubblegum. Uh, popcorn that I had. I finished the bucket or container of popcorn in the movie theater, and the only thing that was left was like the kernels of popcorn at the bottom, but come on, who wants to eat that? that that's just terrible, really hard, little kernels of popcorn. So I just threw that away, so I'm chewing 
eating some strawberry gum right now. But let me tell you guys, John Wick 3 is the best action movie I have seen this year. And in a while, like, hands down, best action movie of 2019. So far, I don't think anything's gonna top it. Really, really good. That's just my first impression. I'm not gonna do spoilers until the end of the video. I'll, I'll you know, give a spoiler warning and everything like that, but go see this movie. It is awesome. And it, honestly, I haven't seen an action movie this good in maybe like a year. Like, it's been a while. Most action movies, for me, are okay. You know, they're decent. But this was on another level. So, right off the bat, let me tell you, this is better than John Wick 1 and John Wick 2, by far. I think John Wick 3 is the number one, like, best John Wick movie. It is so good. Uh, I actually want to see it again. And when it comes out on Blu-ray, I'm, I'm gonna buy it, probably, just to have it, like, the highest quality possible at home. And I really, really, really want to get the John Wick skin in Fortnite after seeing the movie. Because he's just so cool. Like, I already liked John Wick. But after seeing the new movie, I'm like, I need the skin right now. So as soon as the skin comes out, I'm gonna try to get it. But, whoa, okay. So, let me start with, like, some, you know, story of me going into the theater. So, I go into the theater, and I go to the ticket booth, you know, the counter, and there's some lady there, and she asks me, like, okay, what movie do you want to go see? And I'm like, John Wick 3. And I tell her, like, I'm, I'm here to see John Wick 3. And she just looks at me, and then she's like, how old are you? And I'm like, that's weird. Why is this lady asking how old I am? So she then, like, I told her my age, and then she's like, oh, okay. Like, she was legit going to card me. Because, you know, John Wick is an R-rated movie. So for some reason, I guess I looked young, or maybe they just do that to everyone. It's been a while since I've been asked my age when I went to go see a movie. So it was kind of funny. She was surprised when I told her my age, too. She was like, oh, oh, okay. Like, I think she thought that I was, like, some 14-year-old or something trying to sneak into to an R-rated movie. I'm not sure. It was just really funny for me. So, I don't know. I, she was, like, legit about to ask me for, like, my driver's license or something like that, you know, to, to show some proper identification that I was indeed old enough to watch an R-rated movie. So... That was funny, so I got the popcorn. I got, like, some uh, iced tea or whatever to drink. Just because, I don't know, when I'm watching a movie, I don't really like to have, like, a soda. I usually like, try to get, like, I don't know, some iced tea or something. So, I'm, I'm sitting there. The movie starts. And, fun fact, uh, because of the time of, of day that I went to go see the movie... There was not a lot of people in the theater, so I had, like, the whole entire row to myself, so I was really happy about that. I could, like, put my coat on the seat next to me, and then I just, like, sat in the middle row, put my popcorn and drink on the other seat, and was just, like, relaxed there, so. Um, not gonna spoil anything about the movie at this point. I'm just gonna talk generally, like, about a lot of things, so acting in this movie fantastic everyone did a great great job i didn't think anyone was bad um great acting keanu reeves did a fantastic job playing john wick again uh the music like the score there are a lot of times during the movie where there'll be like intense action scenes and they won't have like music playing and all you'll hear is like the punches and the stabs and the gunshots it's awesome but then there's other scenes well where you'll like start hearing background music start to pick up and it's really intense and cool and goes along with the action so i love that um the way stuff was filmed and shot was fantastic angle 
rules for fights. This, I wish every single Hollywood movie learned from John Wick and some other action movies like The Raid, because too many action movies cut away from the action. But John Wick, they use like all the correct camera angles to capture the action, so when someone's getting punched, they let you see like the entire view of the fight, like nothing is blurred or out of like shot or anything like that. So fights are just like these beautiful masterpieces, like really artistic, brutal fights. And it's like amazing to watch. Like I just wanted to get up and clap during the credits to the, you know, people in charge of filming, cinematography, like all that stuff. They did a fantastic job with this movie. So, um, cinematography for this movie, beautiful. So, can't really go too much into detail, but let's just say the shots they filmed for this movie are magnificent. Like, there are shots of the sky, the city, different locations, um, everything looks so nice. Like, really, really nice. It looks like an actual lived-in world. Like, a lot of movies will have, like, bland backgrounds or areas that don't even seem lived in. But this movie makes everything seem alive. And it's refreshing. Like, I really like that. I'm just trying to think of what to talk about because there's so many great things in this movie. But a lot of them are kind of spoilery. So... Okay, I already talked about the acting, cinematography, the music. Um, the fights are amazing. There's a lot of fights in this movie. The body count, like kill count, is insane in this. Um, much higher than the previous movies for sure, I think. Like, John Wick, well, I'm not even going to get into that. Just know, if you come for action, this movie has a lot of it. It's over, like, two, uh, two, two hours. The movie's, like, over two hours, so... Lots of action scenes are in this. Um, crazy action. Uh, the movie definitely deserves the R rating. Like, don't go in expecting a PG kids movie, because this is not that. Um, I, I, I understood, like, within a few minutes of the movie, why the lady at the counter asked me how old I was, because, yeah, you don't want to go see this if you're, like, a little kid. Like, for sure. Um, now... I know that doesn't stop anyone. When I was a kid, I'd go to the theater or to a friend's house or even at my own house and watch really cool R-rated movies because when you're a kid, R-rated movies are like the coolest thing ever. And when you're an adult, you kind of forget that. But this is definitely one of those R-rated movies that if you can see, you should definitely try to see. Uh, maybe you have cool parents that let you watch them. If not, uh, go to your friend's house when this comes out on Netflix and try to watch it. Um... This is a really good movie. That's all I can say. Like, I think I... I don't know what to give it. I think I'll give it, like, an 8.5 out of 10. Which is a very, very high rating. Like, 8.5 out of 10. Um, the original John Wick, I gave an 8 out of 10. This one is just, like, 0.5 better than the first movie. But it's so, so good. Like, I uh, so good. Uh, I'll, and I'll get into that in the, like, spoiler section, but so many things happen in this movie. Um, lots of animals, too, so if you're a fan of animals, uh, you get to see them be, like, really useful to John Wick in this movie. He, he, along with animals, fight alongside each other, taking out bad guys. It's just really cool. Um, man, I, I, I was, like, in my seat, on the edge of my seat so many times during this movie, going, like, oh, this is so cool. And the entire theater was quiet for this. Like, everyone was, like, so enthralled in the movie that they weren't, you know, speaking loudly. No one was, like, making any noise. Everyone was, like, so into the movie. It went by extremely fast. Like, there, there was a little slow part somewhere near the middle of the movie, I'd say. But it picks up again, and it's just complete action. So lots of action. There's just a little slow segment in the movie to give you, like, some breathing room, I think, before it just goes crazy. And, oh, man. Oh, man. So cool. So cool. So... My recommendation is go see this at the theater if you can on the big screen. I saw this in like IMAX. Fantastic. Um, 
I think the speakers that they had were like Dolby Atmos is what they're called, I think. Sounded amazing, like every single gunshot sounded realistic, like the weapons John Wick uses in this movie. Some of them are actually in Fortnite right now, so I thought that was really cool. And the sounds are so similar to a lot of guns, and they even have the combat shotgun in this movie. And let me tell you, the combat shotgun in John Wick 3 is way better than the one in Fortnite. Um, but, oh, it's so cool. So cool. I, I love this movie more than John Wick 1 and 2. So definitely go see it if you can. If not, try to rent it or watch it at a, at a friend's house or something when it comes out in Blu-ray in like two or three months. But I was not expecting it to be this good. It was really, really good. So all the ratings on Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb and Metacritic or whatever, all 100% accurate. Like, there's a reason why this is getting such great reviews. Um, I think most of the reviews have been more positive than the first and second movie, so critics know what they're talking about. So good. So, I think I'm going to get into spoilers now, guys. And don't worry, even if you haven't seen the movie, the spoilers for John Wick is, it's an action movie, he kills people, so I'd recommend, you know, listening to the entire review, but if you are, if you are going to see the movie, don't, don't keep listening, you know, spoilers, 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 but going to talk about spoilers now, and there are a lot of spoilers, so we're going to be going through the entire movie story, or I'm going to be going through it kind of fast, but still. Okay, so the movie starts out right after the second movie, where John Wick is in New York, and because of the events from the second movie, and he killed someone at the Continental Hotel, which was like a safe haven, he is now, like, excommunicated, and they have, like, a, they have, like, the license to kill him in 30 minutes or something. Like, they give him just 30 minutes to live before every assassin on the planet has the ability to kill him for $14 million. So there's a huge bounty on his head. So John Wick is, like, scrambling through the streets of New York, and there's, it's beautiful, like, the shots neon lights, the rain, it's dark at night, there's like all sorts of reflections of the glass and like neon lights bouncing off like surfaces in the rain, very beautiful like aesthetic wise, very very nicely, I like, I like the mood that the movie is trying to like convey, very well shot, like director of photography, cinematography or whatever, congrats you guys, really nailed it, so... He's, like, stumbling through the streets, and he's trying to, like, pick up some secret um, medallions and coins and stuff that he had in a library. And he's, like, watching all around, because all of these assassins in the shadows are watching him, waiting for the 30 minutes to end so they can go kill him. And it's, like, really intense, because every, tur every turn he makes, there's, like, three guys in the corner watching him. There's guys above, guys in, like, a bar, cafe, whatever all waiting to, like, bounce and kill John Wick, because, you know, he's, like, one of the biggest assassins ever, so everyone wants the chance to kill him. So, he goes to this library inside of a book. He has, like, a hidden compartment with, like, a medallion, a cross, um, just some, like, secret things, and, like, a photograph of his wife from the first movie. Uh, John Wick, by the way, has a dog in this one as well, but no worries, the dog does not get harmed. Uh, he sends the dog to safety at the Continental Hotel in a taxi cab, and that's the end of that, so the dog is treated very nicely in this movie, so that's great. But, while he's at this library, an assassin comes, and he, John Wick still has like 10 or 15 minutes or something, and this assassin doesn't care. He just decides to try to kill him right there in the library. So they, they have like a really, 
royal fight, and this is the first fight scene of the movie, and it's probably one of the most violent ones, so it really starts out with, like, a really extreme fight. Um, you know in the previous movies where John Wick kills someone with a pencil? Well, in this movie, the first kill is with a book. Yes, John Wick kills a guy with a book from the library, literally snaps his neck with the book. It's insane. It's a really brutal kill. And it's like, whoa. Like, after when it happened, you're just like, whoa. John Wick just killed a guy with a book. Just a regular book from the library. He, like, destroys this guy. But while he's fighting him, he gets stabbed uh, on the shoulder. So he quickly runs to a nearby doctor. And the doctors in this universe, like, can't help assassins if they've been excommunicated. So... John Wick tells him that he still has like five minutes, so the doctor tries to stitch him up really fast, but it gets really crazy because uh, the time is up and the doctor just has to stop operating on his wound and John Wick has to like fix himself up, like literally suture the wound or sew himself up, I think that's how you say it, um, so... So then John Wick, uh, they set the whole crime scene, like, basically the doctor's like, John Wick, they're gonna know that I helped you a few seconds after the timer ended, they're not gonna believe me, so you have to shoot me, and John Wick, like, shoots the doctor, and the doctor's like, you have to shoot me again, right here, and John Wick shoots him again, he's, he's okay, but the doctor legit asks John Wick to shoot him, so the assassins don't come after him, thinking that he, like, betrayed them. So it's really crazy, like, this doctor's just getting shot at, and he asks to get shot, so, wow. Um, then afterwards, all of these assassins are after him in the streets, and there's a lot of, like, crazy, crazy fights. They're all, like, chasing John Wick. Um, they follow him into, like, this arm, antique armory, and these are, like, extremely skilled assassins, and John Wick is getting, like quadruple teamed by like four dudes at once like four versus one doesn't seem fair but that's what's happening like one guy shows up then another one then another one and john wick is just fighting all of these guys double tapping them you know one shot to the head one knife wound and there's this like really insane fight with knives basically throwing daggers and he just keeps annihilating these dudes by throwing knives at them, like one to the chest, another to the chest, and one to the neck, one to the arm, one to the head, another to the head. And then he pulls the ones out from one dude and, and does the same thing to another one. It's just an insanely brutal fight. Really, really cool. And these are like all skilled assassins, and then they there's like another fight on horseback, literal horses, like in New York City. John Wick goes to like a horse stable. And the horses, like, help John Wick fight these bad guys, these other assassins, by, like, kicking them in the head. Because horses have, like, really strong legs. So that's, like, a crazy fight. Um, yeah, and he does fights on, like, a horse. Like, these guys on motor motorcycle are chasing John Wick while he's riding on a horse. And he's, like, shooting at them. It's really, really cool. Love that. So then John Wick goes to, like, the only people that he can trust in the city. Uh, we get some backstory with him. This lady apparently, like, trained him when he was younger. He was an assassin that worked for him. Uh, he has, like, a cross, um, and apparently that means, like, in the assassin network, you have to accept this person back in a way that you have to help them. So he asks them for one last request since everyone's planning on killing him to and his request is that he wants to go to Casablanca in Morocco. And they're like, okay. So they take the medallion of the cross. They break it. And they break this, like, necklace. And then they brand John Wick in the back saying that he's no longer part of their network. And they will do this one last request for him. And John Wick ends up in, like, Morocco. So in Morocco, this is where, um, in, like, Casablanca... This is where Holly Berry's character gets introduced, and her name is, like, Sophia. Apparently, John Wick and her have some kind of, like, backstory. Uh, some stuff is kind of left vague. We, we're not entirely sure, but she kind of likes some, but she also kind of hates some. She shoots some, actually, at one point when they first meet. Uh, no mortal wounds.
Jones. She just shot Adam, but it was still kind of crazy. She has dogs of her own, just like John Wick, so it seems like there's assassins that really like their dogs in these movies. Uh, really, really cute dogs. They like John Wick, too, as well, uh, later in the movie, but he has a medallion with, like, blood on it, um, and apparently, like, between assassins, if you have, like, a blood, uh, pact between each other, you have to, like, help that other person with a request if you save their life or something. So, John Wick had one for her, so she's obligated to help him, even though he's been, like, excommunicated, and he wants to see, like, the main big guy that runs the whole ass assassin network around the world, like, the big guy at the table, apparently, or whatever it's called, uh, the council, I forget, but she's like, no, I don't want to do that, but then she decides that she will, so she takes some of this one big guy, and he's, like, the only one that knows, so he doesn't want to help John Wick, he wants to kill him, but eventually they talk about it, and he's like, okay, you have to go into the desert, wander there for days, follow, like, the stars and the moon, and then if you keep on going until you pass out, maybe you'll find him or something, and, and it's like, what? That's crazy, what, can, <laughs> what are you even telling a man, like, what? And then after he says this stuff, he tells Holly's, Holly Berry's character, like, okay, now that I helped you, you have to help me, give me one of your dogs, and then she's like, what, no, and John Wick's like, yeah, no, that's crazy, and he's like, well, I gave you something, now you have to give me something, so then he kills, or he shoots at Holly Berry's dog, but the dog is wearing, like, bulletproof, um, I want to say clothes, but it's not really clothes, it's just, like, a bulletproof vest around the dog, and the dog, like, pretends to be dead, I think, and then Holly Berry's, like, really angry that the dog got shot at, so she pulls out, like, a secret gun hidden underneath, like, the dog's bulletproof vest, and John Wick is like, no, 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 but she does it anyway, and she, like, shoots that guy, and then, like, 50 bodyguards show up, okay, it's now 50, it's, like, 10, but John Wick and, hit, and her, like, shoot all of these bodyguards together, insane fight, and they end up shooting that guy, like, multiple times, but they don't kill him, they just shoot him a lot, uh, John Wick's like, no, don't kill him, don't kill him, and she's like, okay, but he shot my dog, and John Wick's like, okay, yeah, I get that, and, and that's, like, a callback to the first movie, so they have to leave this, like, continental-type hotel, safe haven place, I think, sort of, and all of these, like, assassins show up, and this is where the kill count starts getting crazy, like, it was already at, like, 30 by this point in the movie, but... As they're getting out of this place, like, 20 guys show up, another 10 guys show up, 15 guys show up, like, I feel like they killed, like, 100 people at this part in the movie, like, it's insane. Holly Berry and Keanu Reeves, both of their characters, you know, Sophia and John Wick in this movie, really amazing, like, duo. They kind of hate each other, but they're working together, killing all of these, like, assassins. There's some really cool fights in this movie, by the way. Um, at this point, there's also a scene where John Wick needs to reload his gun, and the three guys that he's fighting need to reload at the same time as well. So it's a race to see who can reload their gun first and kill the other ones. And John Wick reloads first and shoots all three of the guys, so it's really cool. Um... Yeah, just really cool, like, fighting, really brutal shots, like, everyone's getting two-tapped, you know, like, shot in the chest, shot in the head, or sometimes, like, triple-tapped, like, shot to body shot, two head shots type of thing, like, like, they're dead, like, everyone's getting killed, and the dogs are brutal, too, like, Holly Berry's dogs, uh, Sophia's dogs in this movie, they're helping out in the fights, they're, like, biting dudes, uh, on their legs, on their arms and stuff, like, insane like these dogs are crazy but they're also lovable dogs so you can tell they've been trained so they finally make it out of here in like a car uh sophia takes john wick to the desert and she like drops him off there and is like okay well you can go now and she's like here's some water and there's like a bottle of water with like one eighth of the water in the bottle and John Wick's like, okay, and like takes the bottle, but she grabs it back, drinks all the water, swishes it around in her mouth, spits it back into the bottle, and gives it to John Wick. Like, she really hates him. And then he's like, uh, okay. 
and she just drives away, and apparently they have, like, a new pact where now he owes her something, like, she no longer owes him anything, he owes her something, so she, she leaves, she kind of hates him, we don't know exactly what happened in their past, but it must have been something big, but this is crazy, John Wick in a suit, like, in this whole movie, John Wick has his suit on, he has a suit, leather, you know, leather shoes, he's walking in the desert in the sand with, like, an empty water bottle, because this water bottle barely has any water, it's just spit from, uh, Sophia's character, basically, in that thing, so he's just wandering the desert, and the shots, like, the cinematography of the sand dunes and the stars and the sky and the moon are beautiful in this part of the movie, like, I was there in my seat going, this looks beautiful, like, wow, I want this as a wallpaper for my, like, computer, like, it's beautiful, seeing John Wick with, like, a water bottle just walking through the sand dunes, it's really cool, so then what happens is, uh, John Wick faints, and some guy, some guy on a camel shows up, picks him up, and takes him to the main, like, big guy of the assassin, like, the king of the council, or the table of the assassin network, whatever, it's the big guy, you know, the main, the main guy, and John Wick's there, and they give him something to drink, he's like, why are you here, John Wick's like, I wanted to see you, to ask for forgiveness, or to say sorry about what I did in the second movie, uh, I killed that guy on consecrated, like, uh, grounds, or whatever, um, basically, the Continental was a safe haven, and John Wick killed someone there, so that's why everyone is after him in this movie, and the only person that can make it go away is the main guy that runs the organization, so he's like, okay, I can, like, forgive you, but you have to show your loyalty type of thing, and John Wick's like, okay, I'll do whatever, and he says, you'll have to serve under me as an assassin forever, or die right now, and, and John Wick's like, okay, I'll serve, and then to show that he's loyal, they have him do something that the Yakuza do in Japan, where you've been disloyal, you, you have to, like, cut off one of your fingers, like, one of your fingertips, or not, not your entire finger, just, like, the top portion, so John Wick, to show his loyalty, cuts off, uh, the part of his finger, you know, for his wedding ring, like, his wedding finger, including the ring, because that's really important to him, um, because he really loved his wife, though, so to show his dedication, he basically cuts off his, like, wedding ring finger with the ring on his finger, and the guy's like, okay, and they quickly, like, uh, you know, fix the wound, um, by branding him with, like, a hot, uh, brand, like, flame thing, um, they, they basically brand his finger, you know, to fix the wound from bleeding, because it's bleeding all over the place, and once it's burnt, you know, it's kind of like Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars, uh, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, like, you don't bleed after those wounds, uh, it basically cauterizes the wound, I believe is how you say it, so, that's what happened to John Wick, he no longer has a finger on one of his hands, uh, where his, you know, the hand where his wedding finger was, so that's crazy, um, I was actually kind of worried about that, because, um, when that happens, it's a lot harder for you to, like, fight with, like, weapons, um, especially, like, in Japan, when they would do this to the Yakuza, like, traditionally, I, they, I think they still do that to this day, but it's a lot harder to, like, hold weapons like a katana and other blades without your full, like, hand, like, without access to all of your fingers, it's harder to grip certain weapons, so I was like, oh no, now John Wick is at a slight disadvantage, because he doesn't have a finger, but this guy then says, okay, you've been reinstated, so what this means is, if he has to prove, like, he has to work for the council guy now at the table, but if he betrays them again or something, then that means the assassins uh, can all come kill him again, so he tells them, you have to go kill Winston, and Winston is the guy in the last movie, uh, the, the head guy at the Continental Hotel, that's kind of like a friend to John Wick, and that's why he gave him 30 minutes to escape, so the reason why at the beginning of this movie John Wick had 30 seconds to try to figure something out and save himself was because of this guy, so 
Uh, the big guy tells John Wick, okay, now you work for us again, you're safe, but only if you kill your friend, basically, the guy that helped you, Winston, and John Wick's like, okay, I'll do it. So, it's kind of like, whoa, this is serious. So, John Wick goes back to New York City, and now I'm gonna go back and explain some other, like, side plot that was going on. So, there's this lady called the Adjudicator. I think that was what she was called. It's a title. Basically, she works for the big guy, you know, the table, the council, whatever group. And she goes around making sure the people responsible for what John Wick's ac actions caused got, like, what they deserved. So she went around killing certain people or getting them killed. So Lawrence Fishburne character for helping John Wick, um, she basically has him killed by this, like, elite group of Japanese assassins, if I'm not mistaken. And, yeah, it's really, like, brutal, and you're like, whoa. And she also visits, like, Winston and tells him, like, what you did was wrong. You have seven days until you're going to be killed. So pack up your bags. You're no longer in charge of the Continental. Um, she's just, like, working around New York City trying to fix, like, all the problems that John Wick caused and make sure the people that helped him get killed. So it's it's really serious, you know. She's... She killed, or she kills, like, a bunch of the people that worked uh, for the place that John Wick went to get help. You know, the people that helped John Wick get to Morocco, Casablanca, in the first place. So, this entire time, there was, like, a side plot where certain characters were getting threatened, and, yeah, it was serious. So, John, Wick's get, John Wick gets back to New York City. Assassins are already waiting for him, including this one, like, Japanese assassin. And I believe he's Japanese just because a uh, part in the movie, um, when the adjudicator lady visits them, uh, it's like at a sushi place. And I believe they speak in Japanese, so I'm pretty sure this character was a Japanese, uh, you know, actor and character in this movie. But I could be mistaken, so apologies if I am. Um, a lot of times in these movies, they'll get, like, um, actors from, like, Indonesia or China play characters that are like Japanese or something so I always want to be like sensitive to that stuff just because I don't know it's weird when they do that in movies and you think like oh Jackie Chan yeah he's a Japanese character right and an actor and you're like no Jackie Chan is Chinese and he's playing a Japanese person in this movie so that's why I'm a little bit um uncertain but I'm pretty sure the actor and the character in this movie like his whole squad of assassins or Japanese because they did speak at one point in Japanese in the movie but then again maybe I'm completely wrong and uh oh if I am but really really cool this guy's like one of the best assassins in the film and he has like a team of like highly trained assassins so they're waiting for John Wick at the train station when he shows up back in New York City John Wick has to go kill Winston so some assassins actually help him out as he's getting through the train station. It's a grand central station in New York City. And at this point, I think John Wick might have, like, superpowers or something because he does something crazy in this movie. He literally, like, disappears, like, shadow form or something. Like, he has superpowers. They're in the middle of, like, tracking him down, and he just disappears into the crowd. And then one of the villains does the same thing, so it must be like a secret assassin ability to just disappear into a crowd, and it looked awesome, so kudos to whoever, like, came up with that idea. It looked really nice, but this guy, this, like, Japanese guy is, like, really into tracking down John Wick and fighting him, so it's like, whoa. He has, like, some kind of, like not rivalry, but admiration, but at the same time, he wants to be the one to kill John Wick, so there's, like, this whole really, really cool motorcycle chase in this movie. John Wick is fighting guys on motorcycle with, like, katanas and other swords and, like, knives and weapons. He's shooting at them. Just beautiful fights. All the fights in this movie are amazing. Like, just so good and this is one of the best ones like this motorcycle sequence is so cool john wick is on this motorcycle and by the way keanu reeves loves motorcycles so i'm sure he was really happy about this scene really excited 
uh, to film this, but really amazing scene, and it ends right at the end where John Wick crashes, and the guy that's chasing him, this one, this one, like, main Asian dude that's bad, they crash, and John Wick is about to, like, get killed by this guy, but he puts his hand on the doorstep of the Continental Building and is saved. So, what happens then is John Wick goes inside the Continental, it's, it's all good again, because, you know, he's been reinstated, but he tells Winston, who already knows, by the way, that he has to kill him in order for, you know, everything to go back to normal, and Winston's like, are you gonna kill me, your friend, the one that lets you live, you're gonna feel bad about that forever, and then at this point, the adjudicator lady shows up and is like, okay, John Wick, are you gonna kill this guy, and John Wick's like, nope, and then she's like, Winston, are you gonna kill John Wick, and he's like, nope, so then she's like, okay, well, the entire Continental Building is now, like, deconsecrated or whatever. So, what that means is every assassin there has to leave because it's no longer a safe haven or safe zone. And the bounty is back on John Wick's head and everyone is allowed to go there and kill. So, at this point, the Asian guy that's still, you know, really after John Wick shows up there and he's like... I hope I get to kill you, John Wick. Like, he's like a total John Wick fanboy, but kind of psycho. So he's there, and he's like happy the lady tells him, the adjudicator lady tells him, um, you're gonna be able to kill him in this building very soon, because all, like, rules are off. So he's happy about that. And this part of the movie is where it goes to a 10 out of 10. Like, this is the best accent action sequence in the entire film. So... The, like, high council or high table or whatever, you know, the main bad guys send their best assassins to the building and John Wick and Winston and, like, the butler guy, or I don't even know if he's a butler, he's, like, the main, like, right-hand man helper of Winston and they go into, like, the armory and John Wick's like, I need weapons, so they, like, stock up on the best weapons imaginable and he's like, you'll need these bullets and this gun and stuff like that, so there's, like, a really cool weapon scene and John Wick and them are ready, they turn off the lights, there's, like, a weird strobe light effect going on and all of these assassins show up in the building, so these guys are, like, insanely good um, just to put it into perspective, John Wick, most of the people, like, assassins John Wick takes out in this movie, he takes them out in, like, three or five seconds, but when we see the reverse happen, like, other assassins try to fight the same assassins that John Wick fought, they die in, like, one second just because the assassins he goes up against are so skilled. So, when you think about that, John Wick is ex extremely good when he's taking out these skilled assassins because he does it in a way that's, like, fast and quick, like, really, really good. I I'm not explaining it, he's just very, like, highly skilled and trained at taking out these other guys. But the movie does not shy away from showing, like, John Wick gets stabbed, he gets knocked down a lot hurt, bruised, punched, like all sorts of things, so it's not like other action movies where the hero never gets hurt, John Wick gets hurt all the time, it's just that he keeps getting back up and fighting, so that's what makes it so cool, so these guys, up until this point, John Wick has been able to kill most of the guys in this movie with like three shots, you know, one, one shot to the chest, two to the head, that's it. But these special assassins that show up are all, like, armor-plated. They all have, like, plates of metal armor underneath their, like, bulletproof vests or whatever. They have, like, full face guard shields and, like, helmets. So John Wick is shooting them in the head. It's doing nothing. He's shooting them, on, like, in the chest. It does nothing. Like, he's literally shooting guys 12 times, and they're still alive and shooting at him. So he has to get, like, really creative and, like, try to shoot in between the cracks of their, um, like, eyes for their helmets or underneath where their neck piece attaches to the bulletproof vest with, like, the metal plates. So it gets, like, insane. Like, he's taking out all of these guys, but it's taking, like, 12 shots just to kill one guy, and they're all ganging up on him. So it's crazy, and it's beautiful. It's one of the best, like, intense scenes in the movie. And then, after all of that... 
he goes back into the armory and is like, Winston, I need more weapons, I need to reload. And then he gets like a combat shotgun, similar to the combat shotguns in Fortnite. And the main guy, Winston's like right-hand man, shows up and is like, use these bullets. And he gives him like armor-piercing rounds, like shotgun shells. Um, I think they're like Teflon-coated bullets or something, I'm not sure. But they're armor-piercing rounds that they actually go through metal. And it's insane, like, John Wick's like, okay, so they literally go out with these shotguns and, like, one pump, like, headshot all of these guys and are just destroying these dudes left and right, like, the same guys that were taking 12 bullets before get killed in, like, one shot from the shotguns now. So after that, uh, the lady, the adjudicator lady is like, are you guys still doing this? You can't go on forever killing all of our best guys and John Wick and like Winston are like, whatever. And at this point, this is where, you know, the, the movie starts building up to the, you know, important part. There's this really beautiful, like, glass, um, uh, glass area on top of the Continental. Like, it's on the final floor. And it's complete glass, and it's like all mirror, like everything's a mirror image. I don't know if any of you have ever been to like an amusement park or carnival where they had like a mirror fun house, you know, with like crazy mirrors and glass panels everywhere that kind of confuse you, kind of like a maze. Well, that's what this entire like top floor is, so John Wick goes up there, and one Asian guy that's like, you will now fight me type thing um that really wants to kill john wick is there and he's like come face me but first you have to face like my underlings so john wick goes up up against two extremely good guys and they're knocking him through the glass they're like comboing him back and forth through plate like plates of glass um it's like really brutal like john wick get all gets all cut up from like glass and stuff but he eventually kills these two guys and you're like okay phew and then he walks up to the next like floor it's kind of like a video game where it's like okay now you beat you know the mini bosses now you get to go face the boss but instead he gets to the second floor and two more guys show up and it's like oh no those guys that you fought before those are just like regular bad guys we're the mini bosses so these two guys are insanely good. I actually recognize one of the actors. I think he was in um, some other like martial arts movies that I've seen. Uh, possibly The Raid. I am not sure though. But really good. The, the, the fight choreography in this movie was insane. It was so good. The action scenes. So John Wick is fighting these guys. And they're both like one... Like, it's like 2v1, like, all, all of the fights at the end of this movie are just guys, like, third-partying John Wick. Five guys fighting him at the same time, it's insane. And this part is two guys, two insanely skilled assassins, fighting John Wick, and they have, like, katanas. And John Wick is there fighting them at the same time, and he's knocking them through glass, and he's getting protected by glass panels in front of him, and he's trying to, like, distract them through the mirrors, and... It's beautiful, like, the lighting, the fight, like, the way the fight is shot. It lasts a while, but it's really satisfying, like, each time he gets to punch them, and they even, like, joke a bit with with John Wick, and are like, who he's getting a little bit slow, he, he's not as prepared as he once was, and then he's like, give me a second, and then he, like, stands up and, like, undoes his belt buckle, and then, like, starts fighting them and starts beating them up really good. And then the fight ends in respect, like, he destroys them, they fall through the glass floor, and then he, he really hurts them badly, and then they're like, he's gonna kill us now, but then John Wick's like, no, no, he says something in their, like, or native language, because John Wick, you know, he speaks other languages, so he's like, no, no, like, respect, uh, stay down now, guys, or something like that, I forget, and they're like, oh, okay, and they don't bother getting back up to fight him, because they know that he beat them but he has, like, mutual respect for them because they were a really good fight. And then he looks up, and the one Asian guy, the one that's kind of, like, obsessed with fighting him, is on the top floor, and he's like, hmm, you did very good, now come face me. So then John Wick, who's, like, completely battered and bloody and cut up from all the stuff that has happened in this movie, 
goes up the final like steps up to the sky and like the final area and it's so cool there's all sorts of like lights in the background and special effects and they're like in this glass like warehouse building on the final floor and the fight starts and this guy has his own like sword and daggers and stuff like that um wait no he has a sword um you know the sword that like samurai use is a uh, katana right well samurai also had a smaller sword that i forget the name of but that's what they're using to fight i believe so it's not as long as a katana sword but it's slightly shorter it's the shorter sword that like ninjas and samurai in japan would use so it's that and they're fighting each other and it's like really cool and this guy's like extremely skilled so john wick cannot let his guard down he's fighting this guy they're both like extremely professional assassins you know so it's like the best of the best fighting each other and it's like so cool i'm up there watching the movie at the edge of my seat going like yes yes this is so cool and eventually like john wick he does like really stealth like slices at this guy at one, at one point during the fight um at, like above his kneecap and like on his like arm so he like you know cuts where like the muscle tissue is and like his artery so this dude's legs like starts shaking and his arm can't move correctly and he's like whoa and then john wick just like stabs him right through the chest or whatever and then afterwards i like sit still there and the guy's like don't worry john wick uh i'm just taking a quick breather i'll be back and like john wick gets up and leaves the room and is like yeah sure you are uh i don't think you're like coming back from that and, or something like that and the guy just falls over then and dies because john wick knew that he wasn't going to survive that so just insane this entire final part of the movie by the way at the continental is a 10 out of 10 like i said fantastic fights it lasts for like 40 minutes or more like it lasts for a while it feels like and it's the best part of the movie and the reason why you should go see this movie so after this whole thing ends what happens is the lady then calls winston and is like okay we can negotiate now you've killed so many of my guys john wick is just gonna keep killing them so tell him like call him off or whatever so then john wick shows up winston's negotiating with the lady and she's like okay winston you have your hotel back the continental you're reinstated uh it's consecrated again you know it's a safe haven and he's like okay good and then they're like what are we gonna do about john wick and this is like a big plot twist moment he shoots john wick like five times or four times in the chest and arm like john wick falls multiple floors off this building onto the hard pavement below and then she's like oh okay you killed him good so that's taken care of and then she just leaves but then she goes to the alley where, where john wick fell and he's not there and she goes tells winston like hey we need to get john wick like you killed him but he's still alive and then he's like well there's nothing i can do about that so then you're like whoa this winston guy betrayed john wick kind of like we don't know if he shot him in strategic areas so he wouldn't die but it's still not cool that he shoots john wick after you know john wick basically saving his life and his hotel but uh the movie ends with uh john wick ending up in lawrence fishburne's lair so lawrence fishburne as i said earlier gets like sliced up and cut up by these assassin guys by this uh, adjudicator lady it's the like special elite squad of like asian assassin guys that kill him but apparently they don't kill him they just hurt him really bad he retreated into the underground and he's like sitting on a throne and they bring john wick in that's all like you know shot up and he's like i'm really angry at the high table or council john wick and he's like are you angry and john wick like flips him off and then he like kind of laughs and he's like so are you and john wick's like yeah and then the movie ends so john wick 4 is totally going to happen so i'm really excited and it's probably going to be john wick going up against like the main big guy the one that runs the entire organization and killing him for revenge or something like that so that's going to be awesome 
uh, if there's one thing that I'm kind of surprised, it's about uh, the adjudicator lady, the lady that called herself the adjudicator, or, you know, she's kind of like the judge, the person that, I don't know, works, like, as the right hand, sort of, for the main guy of the organization, a crime assassin syndicate thing. Honestly, the names for this movie, I, I, I forget them after, <laughs> after hearing them, because they're kind of generic, but... I was expecting her to fight at some point and being like a truly like crazy good assassin because usually in the John Wick movies, the assassins that are the most like professional looking, you know, in their suits that are always like, you know, proper in the way they speak, never fighting. Then when they actually fight near the end of the movie, they turn out to be some of the most elite skilled assassins ever. So I was expecting her to fight at some point, but she never does, so I was kind of disappointed. Maybe she'll fight in the next movie, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, the movie ends like that. I skipped over, you know, a bunch of fights and lots of other moments, but this movie has a ton of action. Um, the the entire ending segment, though, at the Continental, you know, fly, fighting in the maze of mirrors and glass is probably the best, just because of how it's, like, laid out each floor, you know, he fights the two bad guys, and he fights another two even better bad guys, and then he fights the final boss, like the main really good skilled bad guy, and as far as kills go, you know, there's some funny ones actually, and then there's like some really like brutal ones, uh, the most brutal one is probably the book kill and a knife kill to the eye, like there's one scene where John Wick literally stabs this dude through the eye and this dude like dies so that one might be one of the more brutal parts of the movie like for real like i kind of was like ooh when that happened but other than that most of the action scenes are really stylized and really cool and every single punch you hear it like and feel it it's really realistic the shots are realistic really good movie so as i said before i give it an 8.5 out of 10 Go see John Wick 3. It's amazing. And I absolutely loved this movie. But yeah, definitely go see this movie. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed this ASMR movie geek review. Let me know if you liked uh, listening or watching this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be sure to have a new ASMR gaming video out very, very soon. And if you want to help support the channel and the creation of videos just like this one, head on over to patreon.com slash asmrgaming, and with as little as $1 a month, you can help support the channel and get videos like this one made more often, so definitely do that if you can, and yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time.